Time and again, we are exporting images for Facebook, Instagram, or even our emails, and that's a hassle. Let me help you set up your Photoshop to export with just one button. Let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop, and first of all, we need to set the export preferences, and we can find them in File, Export, and Export Preferences. Now inside of that, first of all, we need to make a choice of the format. Which format do you use the most? For me, I use JPEG all the time because I'm exporting images for the web, for Facebook and stuff, and we're gonna choose JPEG. And quality is very important. If you're just uploading on Facebook, Instagram, you can just get away with 67, 75, something like that, something in the 70 range. But I prefer a quality of 100. I want to retain all the details. Now, the advantage of reduced quality is the file size will be greatly reduced and Facebook will anyway compress your image. So higher quality doesn't matter much, but I prefer 100 all the time. The quick export location is very important. If you want to keep it one button, we have to choose export files to an assets folder next to the current document. If you choose the first one, it's going to ask you every time you export, where do you want to save it? What is the location? So we don't want that for now. We're going to talk about that later. Metadata. Do you want to retain copyright or contact information? Well, I want to retain it. Thing is, if I upload it on Facebook or other social media, most of them just take it away, take it off. But if I'm sending the image to somebody via email and they choose to right click on it and look at the image details, they will see my contact and copyright. So why not just keep it? Doesn't hurt you. Color space. Make sure you convert it to sRGB. Make sure this is checked so that when you upload it to the web, which supports sRGB, the colors do not change. All right. Hit OK. Now, the second step is, of course, now you can go to File and then Export and Quick Export as JPEG. It will be automatically done. But we want to assign this a key. And to be able to do that, we will go to Edit and then Keyboard Shortcuts. Now, inside of Keyboard Shortcuts, we'll locate where that is. It's under File and it's under Export. And under Export, it is quick export. It's right now shows PNG, but it's changed to JPEG. So we're going to just give it some key. I'm going to give it F6. Now it already says F6 is in use and will be removed from window color. I don't use color personally. So I'm just going to hit accept right over there. And this is now F6. Just hit OK. Now I'm just going to press F6. Let's press it. Now let's have a look where it is saved. So here is the example one photo. And besides that, there is automatically a folder created. Have a look. This has it saved. Whatever changes I make, for example, I just create a curves adjustment layer just to show you something like this. And then I press F6 again. See, if I go back there, it will be there. See, it is saved. Easy, right? Now, the image was saved to a folder next to the original document. Now, you might ask, Hey Unmesh, this is all right, but what if I create a brand new document inside of Photoshop and don't save it? In other words, what if there's a document without any location? If I press F6 or whatever shortcut we have assigned, where will it be saved? I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. So if we just simply create a brand new document by going to File and New, and we choose something like, let's say, uh, 19, 20, 1080, and just create a brand new document. This is not saved anywhere. And we're going to take a brush and we're going to make some dabs and, you know, one, two. All right, that was white. One, two, three, four. All right. If we press F6, where is it saved? Let's press it. Pressed. Now, let me show you. It will be saved over here inside of Document Assets folder. Where is the Document Assets folder? On a Mac, that would be in Home. All right, once you go to the home and then there will be document assets inside of that, it will be saved over there. Also, once you're in Finder, you can go to go and then home. Here's the shortcut for home, right? And then click on home and document assets. It will be saved over there. On a Windows, this will be the location. Now, I have to give you a huge warning. If you prefer to go the one button way, please name your documents. Otherwise, they will be replaced. What do I mean by that? Let me show you. This is important, very huge warning. If I go ahead and create a new document, if I, let's say, keep it untitled one, all right? And if I create it and let's name it U1. So this is untitled one, okay? Now, if I create one more document, if I go to file new, it's also untitled one and I'm going to create it right there. And, but I'm going to name it U2, all right? Now, if I select this document and if I press F6, have a look where it is saved. 
it will be inside document assets so i'm just going to go to the home and document assets see untitled one i guess this is u1 have a look right if i go to the second one u2 and if i press f6 again keep in mind this is untitled one it will replace it have a look it replaces the previous one we wanted to create different versions but it replaces it if we had named our document previously this would not have happened for example if i go ahead and create file new and this time i name it let's say untitled 3 or something i create it and name it u3 because this is renamed and then i press f6 have a look at this u3 is there because it's a different name it did not replace it so keep that in mind with all that said, there is one big flaw that this method has is that there is no renaming or sequencing options. So if you want to create different versions, it's just not possible with one button and Adobe should do something about it. Let me show you. So here we have added a little curves and we can press F6 and this is already saved. As you can see, if we go to the finder example one assets, this is saved, right? If I want to go ahead and save one more version of it, for example, I add a color lookup table and let's see something we add like crisp warm right this is amazing and i decrease the opacity of the curves this looks great now i want to save this version as well and if i press f6 have a look now this new version replaces the previous version right so if i just go ahead and create one more adjustment or just a simple layer and just type in anything type just for fun and press f6 have a look it replaces the previous one instead of creating different ones if this works for you awesome it works great for me especially when it comes to small tasks but if you want to be safe about locations and versions there might be one more step that you might have to do but it doesn't take too much of a time let me show you so all we have to do is to go back to export preferences again file export and export preferences and you can change it to ask where to export each time that we can rename it that we can choose the location do whatever you want so it's still just two steps just select that hit okay won't take too much of time just press f6 now dialog box pops up and you can name it whatever you want for example this is example two or you want to just create sequence save it's saved so if you want to just create one more new layer and name it two you want to save this version as well you can press f6 much more quicker you can just name it let's say five so you have as you can see two different versions you can also choose locations it's absolutely on you so that's how we export our images really fast so that was how we set up our photoshop to quickly export with just one button and also two steps if you want to save different versions and stuff just experiment with the export preferences and you'll be fine. I hope this video helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tip, trick or tutorial. Thank you so much for all your support. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.